Hello and welcome back to Persona 3. It is time for us to go back into Tartarus. We have a sword, everybody is healthy, and yeah, I think we're I think we're just kind of good to go, good to do a little bit of leveling. Right, uh, let's go to Tartarus. Let me double check. Yes, yes, let's go to Tartarus tonight. I don't need to know. Uh, oh, wait a second, let me just check us as well. Yeah, we're good to go, we're good to go. Right, Tartarus. Go to Tartarus tonight. Now, our goal here, uh, we don't need to do a rush through just yet, uh, but we do need to start thinking about advancing floors. I think our goal here is to reach the first boss floor. I think that would be really advantageous for us. Right. Uh, we shouldn't need to do any Persona fusing because we did a bunch of that last time. We do have Valkyrie though. Do we want to do Valkyrie over Jack Frost? 137998. 137998. Uh, versus 8, 12, 11, 5, 7. Okay. So. You're going to do a lot more damage magic wise. Uh, but Valkyrie will do a lot more damage physical wise. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll just stick with Jack Frost for just now. Uh, wait, what level does Jack Frost get, Mabufu? 13. So that's the exact same level as Valkyrie. But Valkyrie is level 12. It's a tough one. I think we stick with Jack Frost. Yeah, especially as we... Actually, we want the Jack Brothers as well, don't we? So yeah, let's stick with that. Right. And then, we're just going to go to the top floor. I mean, there's no reason to worry about doing any... Um, uh, I was thinking like saving here because we basically started exactly where we want to start. Let me just do a uh, little save state though before we start. Let's check that the save state works. Junpei isn't with us? What? Why isn't Junpei with us? Uh, did he decide not to come today? <laughs> Wait, did I miss that where he was like, I'm out? I'm busy? Let me just go back here. Oh yeah, he's just not here. Oh, I guess he's busy today. Didn't even realize that. Anyway, the safe state works. Right, let's head um, to back to floor 14 with our three-person squad and let's head up. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We don't need a four-person squad. The fourth person has generally just been unnecessary. Oh, also, first time for using this. Okay, that seems like it has range on it. Yeah, it seems like it has, like, significant range on it. I want to test this out, actually, and see whether we, uh, like, how far away we can hit something from. Because this seems like it would be a lot easier. Let's try this here. So, along this way. Sneaky, sneaky. I just want to know what the range is. Weird thing. Okay, that's a pretty significant range. Okay. Good to know. Three enemies uh, you're weak to ice. Uh, you are weak to Roger. don't know. Okay, we'll so let's kill the two ice the ones and then try the last one. I think I'll just shoot it with our um, bow just to see how much damage we do. Okay, hit it. And kill that one. And then attack. Well, that was good. That crit for more damage than work. our magic did, and yeah, we were on a magic-based persona. They're both danger. Oh no! All right, I want the one on the left. Okay, that one. Okay. Well, at least we got another Apsaris as well, which means that we can use Cadenza again. Okay. Uh, stairs up. It's a little bit difficult to use the bow, but in theory. We should, if we if we get good with it, be able to use it a lot better than the um, like sword for engaging fights. So now we use it, move into block two, do a save state. Let's go. So I wonder how far away I can hit them from, like here. Oh, okay, that didn't give us player advantage, but that's all right. Three enemies These guys are weak to the ice. Weak. Well, um, Bufu. Followed by Bufu, followed by Bufu. That's the plan. Okay, Bufu. And we'll get another shuffle time. Hopefully not with double death on it. Oh, never mind. Well, she can maybe also do this. Nope. Okay. 
Well, we killed one. Ow. And it gets a one more on us. Stay sharp. Uh, nope. Okay. wonder why it didn't get a one more. It hit a weak point. Huh. Is it because we're using the bow? I thought it said something like, if you miss with the bow, then you don't get, like... You don't get knocked down. Wondering whether it does something with weaknesses? Probably not, but I was just like... Maybe I just don't understand why you would get one more. Oh. Missed it when it swapped those two. Well, whatever. Um, let's do a heal here. And a heal here. Cool. Should probably get Yukari to do the healing, because she doesn't use as much um, SP as us, but that's okay. Stay in the corner. Got it, okay. <laughs> well, uh, what are you guys weak to? Wind. Okay, I don't have wind. How about I just shoot you? 73 is not bad for a single hit. Nice crit. He gets a one more. Okay. Yep. Garu gives her one more. She can then use again. Yep. Perfect. And then again. Okay. Would have been better if she used it on the other one, but whatever. So yeah, there, there we go. We got one more when he hit weakness. Hmm. Maybe it's because uh, I was trying to think. Maybe they hit a strength as well on our side, and maybe that cancelled it out. I don't think that's how it works, but oh, shuffle time! I uh, definitely want the one on the right. Cool, got it. More XP. This is kind of weird. I was also just thinking with having a being a party member down. Um, it means that everyone here is getting more XP, so he's going to join the party again and be lower XP. That's so weird, right? As a, like, for an, a party-based RPG to have that kind of mechanic going on. Huh. Okay. Sure. Gained a bunch of yen. Let's go. Uh, well, those are the stairs. I do want that item. Now, I think we take the item and go to the stairs. Let's do a real, um reset of the AI. It, this might be the only route it can take, but let's just see. Oh, never mind. There we go. <laughs> that was better. Birds are weak to uh, Zeo. Okay, well, attack it. I didn't quite kill it, but that's okay. And then Zeo. Perfect. Seems good to me. Okay, everything's 19 XP. And we get whatever is in the box. Medicine. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. Um, right, head up. We'll do a little uh, quick save there and push ourselves forward. It's really hard to do the slow movement. You have to be, like, very careful on the uh, stick, otherwise you go into, like, full strip. Okay, these guys are weak to light. I don't have light, but you know what I do have? A persona that isn't weak to, um, yeah, oh no, you're weak to fire. But I do have a persona that isn't weak to fire somewhere. Do I have one that's uh, immune? Uh, Necromata would be fine. There we go. And then we're just gonna attack. It's just so we don't die to Maharaji. That should be one dead. Not quite, okay. Crit. For a one more. Cool. Um, we might be able to kill that one. Cool. Little Garu doesn't, you know, do very much, but that's fine. Maraji doesn't kill us. And then Sonic Punch. You know who I should get to heal? I should get Akihiko to heal, because he very rarely uses magic. Hey, something inside me changed. Necromata leveled up. Strength increased, magic increased, agility increased. And we got Repatra. I don't actually know what the benefits of leveling up are in terms of fusion in this game. 
Um, in some other games, it gives like the thing you're fusing into like a stat bonus. I think this is an era of these games where all it does is if you're a high enough level, it changes what it fuses into. Because the way that the fusion works basically is it says you are, um, it'll be like, uh, let me just go to our persona, it'll be your Necromata Magician, right? So you're Magician level 7, that's all it really works on. So it's like a level 7 Magician can fuse into a, um, like combined with something else, will always fuse into the same thing. But if we leveled Necromata up to level 20, we just look up whatever the level 20 one is. So you can kind of look at fusion as like, two things fuse into another one, as in two, like, specific personas do, but that's only if they're at their base level, otherwise it will... You have to kind of look at the next one down the list and see what it fuses into. I think I described that really badly. Basically, if you level it up, it will fuse into, like, a more powerful thing. But, is whether you actually want that, or whether you want them to just level up into consistent things based on a lower level. Yeah, okay, that was, like, about the worst way I could have described that, but anyway. Basically, fusion's all kind of messed up if you uh, level personas too much. There we go. Right. Um, I need to reset that guy's movement. This is impossible. <laughs> you can't sneak up on him when he's facing your direction. Cool. Um, all of these guys are things I can't do anything against? Yeah. All right. Cool. There's Garu. Cool. And then Sonic Punch to extremely overkill this one, I think. Yeah. Attack. I'm wondering whether the um, yeah, whether the toy ball can crit. We haven't seen it crit yet. It might be able to. Uh, it was, it's just like, I'm wondering whether that's like the benefit of having high damage is it just doesn't crit. Alright, attack. Although, have we seen a bow crit yet? I don't know if we've seen a bow crit. Maybe that's the answer that I'm looking for. Don't know, I'm assuming they have crit on them. Uh, as in like you have a base level to be able to do it. Um... I want you to heal us again. I think that was a sensible plan. Cool. Do a little quick save. Push ourselves forward down this very, very long corridor. What's in here? What does this connect to? Connects to a three, uh, root. Let's head this way. Okay, I'll grab the item. Younger gem. There's one either side of us. Not too bad. That links around that way. Right this way. Where does this go? Um, does that just link here? It does. Okay, and then that's the way down if we wanted it. Alright, we'll just follow this around here. Is so this way? Ooh, that's dangerous. There's an item. I'm going to need you to not do whatever you were doing there. If it turns towards us, this is bad. It didn't, though. That's okay. Got it. Um, okay. Well, shoot it. That was good. Garu. Then, that one's dead, and attack. Well, it did basically no damage to Akihiko, and it's dead. 19 XP, I think it gives you? Oh, 29 XP. Okay. Hey, Patra Gem. Okay. That's a dead end. This way? Um... Way leads. Ah, to the way out. Perfect. Right, let's go. I just find myself staring at the uh, mini map a lot of the time in this, going, wait, waiting for it to reveal. It's kind of staring closer and closer. 
I find it quite hard to see forward. It's a little bit claustrophobic in the dungeons with the angle of the uh, camera being like down on your characters. Interesting. All right, shoot it. Okay, bow is definitely better than the uh, thing we were using, than the uh, great sword for uh, actually getting the uh, surprise attack. It's a little bit more consistent, I should say, if you can do it from further away. One more. Right, and boo -foo. Although it doesn't matter too much, because as long as you're like sneaky walking, you should be fine any other time when you try it, but... Uh, right. I want the one on the right, which is money. Cool. Let's go. Um, ooh. I'll have a free item. Muscle drink. We have a lot of muscle drink. Um, we did pay for it before, though, which is annoying. Okay, hit him. Ooh, two of these guys. We don't know what they're weak to. Okay. Previously, we've only fought one of these guys. That's annoying that we're fighting two now. Sonic Punch. That doesn't do as much as our weapon. <laughs> okay. Followed by Zeo. We seem to be a little bit stronger than last time we fought these. Right, attack. Uh, 25. Okay, so no, our, our strike does do more. These guys are just strong against uh, what we were hitting them with. Okay. Weak to uh, light and dark, of which we have neither. Okay, Sonic Punch. Didn't quite kill it. It gets moved. Okay. And attack. And then shuffle time. Keep up the good work. Uh, doesn't really matter as long as we don't get the one on the left. I got Pixie, of course. 100% guaranteed. I was like, yeah, it's, it, we're fine as long as we don't get that one. And then we got that one. Not that it matters. We basically just missed out on 750 yen because it was a practice weapon. Right. Do a save. We are running out of... SP, so we might need to do a little bit more running here rather than fighting. That's okay. That item's tempting. Um, in here. Alright, we got got. It just turned so quickly on us. Please don't use Mirage. That's horrible. They get one more. They should do, anyway. They didn't get one more. Interesting. Uh, please no. Well, that's good. That was the instant kill move. There's Sonic Punch. Uh, so it goes after us. So I want to actually switch my persona to Nekomata. And then... Probably heal Akihiko. There we are. Nice timing. That's fine, we're all alive. He's gonna heal us. Oh. Okay. Don't overdo it. He's gonna heal her. Okay, okay, okay. And then I'm gonna heal him. <laughs> Given that we were the only people who didn't need heal, it is a little annoying. I'll be honest. No, just heal yourself. There we go. At last. He's gonna heal, it doesn't matter. Himself is ideal. Right. Shoot it. Don't kill him. Nice. Now you can kill it. Good. Oh, right. <laughs> that was um, more stressful than it needed to be. 2,000 yen. Uh, have we got medicine and things? We do. I think I'll just use some medicine to start with here. Yeah, and then maybe a little deer. And then one here. Cool. 
Right. Quick save. Move on. Uh, I think I have to take this fight. Don't think there's a way around it. Yeah. We would have to run past and know where the exit is. These guys are weak to wind and uh, electricity, which my uh, teammates have, so I'm just going to hit one and then hope that they do the rest. So we'll one more after that one. Nice. Perfect. And then do it again. Perfect. Oh, and we even get to end with an all-out attack, so guaranteed shuffle time. Cool. Shuffle time. Uh, I want the one on the right. Which is this one. There we go. 39 XP. We leveled up. We're now level 12. Great. Lovely. Oh, we also had to level up for you as well, I think. Wait, unless that was the level up on us. No, that was the level up on us. Yeah, I forgot it also shows we, us leveling up in the bottom right as well as our teammates. Uh, shoot it before it turns around. Okay. Uh, change from Necromata to Jack Frost, then hit him with Bufus. So that'll be Bufu. Then Bufu. Another enemy defeated. Good job. And then Bufu. Okay. So they're down. We are kind of running out of uh, SP. That's okay. As long as we can find a way through this these areas. Oh, our uh, Mitamo would be great actually. Saves us having to rebuy it. It's that one. Cool. Uh, no. Sorry, I didn't realize it was asking me something. Uh, let's get rid of the lovers one. Yes. Cool. We don't need that. We do, however, need a chariot one. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's a way down. Uh, ultimately it would be nice to- Oh, that- Okay, that is worth it. Kill. <laughs> I was gonna say, optimally it would be worth going down. Just so we can get some SP back. Three the only problem is we won't have made any uh, like advancement in the, the like, dungeon, which we kind of need to do at some point uh, before six six. So yeah, if we're not making advancements in the dungeon, that's going to be a problem. We are killing everything in like one to hit now, which is good. So that probably means that we're at the right level to just push our way through. Keep up the good work. Okay, shuffle time. Obviously the one on the right. Oh, I chose the uh, wrong one. I forgot when it's really quick, it's the same side. Obtained high cut armor. Uh, I think that means that we can't wear it. Yeah. High cut armor is only for you, currently. Right. Oh. Okay, do you want Resist Wind or Agility 1? I think we want Agility 1. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, that's it, thanks. Right. Um, weird that you can get a quest reward like that, just randomly. Okay. Up to this floor. Well, okay, I won't say no to a free item. Um... Checking the easy route, see if there's a st uh, stairs. Um, if it's the same as P4, there's probably a way to work out like, ah, I'm on this floor layout, therefore the stairs are here. But it took me a while to get that exact in P4, so I'm assuming it's going to be similar here. Wait for it to move and go right on this one. Okay, dead end. Please change your directions of movement. Okay. Uh, so that's a dead end and that's a dead end. So probably bottom left are stairs or top left is stairs. I'm gonna need you to just move. Now on that one as well. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna need you to go left now. Left. Nope. Wrong way. Left. Nope. Wrong way. That's even further towards me. Nope. Wrong way. <laughs> See if we can get it. There we go. That's what we're after. Run, 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 run. Go right. There we go. Stairs. <laughs> Knew exactly where they were. Okay. We just want to save our um, fighting for when we've got like situation like this where you have to fight it. There we go. Ooh. Um, they appear distracted. Let's go for a sucker punch on the wild beast. Just because that should do a lot of damage. Oh, that was pretty good, yeah. Now's our chance. Uh, then attack this one. Hey, it crit. Proved it could actually crit. Good. And then she'll use Garu and kill it. Nice. Yep, 35 XP. Quick save and move. Uh, that's a problem. Could you turn around? I think those are stairs, right? A stairs configuration. There we go. The floor is expanding. Watch out for an ambush. Um, interesting. I don't know what that means, but well, there's the stairs. That was an easy one. The powerful one is getting closer. Continue at your own discretion. Okay, so no stairs over here, but we can at least check the rooms in this direction. Okay, there is an item. I'm not too worried about items now. Now I'm kind of wanting to get out alive. In fact, if we could leave now, it would almost be perfect because then we can come back in on a boss. Let's see. I detect three shadows in this floor's central area. Proceed with caution. Yeah. Perfect. That's where we want to be. Can I see the three? Three tables. I don't know where in my memory this is coming from. Are those tables weak to ice? <laughs> I think those tables are weak to ice. It, it just came to me. I'm like, weak to ice. I don't know why that is there. But in my head, I'm like, that, that's the, that is the truth. There can be no other truth. Now, what would be great is if they're not weak to ice. Oh, you seem to have completed a request. Just a moment while I check. This must be a fencing EP. Uh, or epi? It's probably epi. Anyway. Um, a triangular sword. Yes, this meets the requirements for my request. This epi was once used for... The final rounds in fencing matches. Fencers wore white uniforms, so blood from struck blows would be more visible. Along similar lines, do you know why my clothes are blue? Because demons have blue blood? I will give you four choices. One, I look attractive in blue. Two, I look presentable in blue. Three, why not? Four, other. I will ask my master for the true answer. Please accept your award. Protection Sutras times by two. Alright, so what other requests have we got? Jack Brothers is level 14. Oberon requires a little bit of work. This one requires us to uh, defeat the treasure hand. Uh, this one requires us to finish the section that we're in. Cool. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, I would like to fuse personas. And I just, oh no, I want to register personas first. But not all personas this time. Because we don't want to register... That's the wrong one. We don't want to register this one. I think. Because it's registered data is better. Yes. How about Valkyrie? Valkyrie's fine. Nekomata. Uh, yeah, I like Nekomata. And then Jack Frost. That's fine. Okay, so everything apart from Ari Mitam Ara Mitama. Basically. Okay, default is no. Good to know. You can't just spam the button to go through these. Uh, yes. And then this one. Yes. 
There's a part of me that's like, yeah, I'll just, I, I should have just done the other one so that um, it never asked us again. That's fine. Right, how may I help you? I would love to fuse personas. I just want to see what my options are. Because we are a fool. Which ones do we want rid of? I, I have no connection to this one whatsoever. So, at level 12, we could make Unicorn, which is a priestess one. Okay. Has Hammer, which is a light move, and Garu, which is a wind move. That's kind of useful. It means we get rid of Orpheus, but that's okay. Uh, Nekomata. Uh, I can make... Yomotsu Shikomi. Which is a hermit one. Okay, so it would be a level 3 hermit. It gives us electricity. Don't know what evil touch is. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Or we can make Lilum down here. What do those those make? Fornius. Okay. So I think Unicorn is high on my list. I know obviously we want to keep Orpheus if we can, but like, you know, if we can't, that would be fine. Let's see. Inugami is another one we can get. Hanged Man, which we haven't yet uh, seen. Make Chimera out of those three. Which would be this thing, which would give us an Agi user, basically. Okay. Um, Pyrojack's 14. We have a couple of things. Actually, that would be perfect to keep those for Pyrojack. I think I just keep things for Pyrojack here. Yeah? Probably. Uh, yeah, unless we want Unicorn. No, I think we keep them for Pyrojack. Just kind of leaves us with an odd, like, collection of uh, personas currently, but I think that should be fine. We're not seeing anything uh, through the shuffle cards that we haven't seen already, so I think that's fine to keep what we got. Right, let's uh, do a save, which is going to go over save slot number one. Cool. Um, and then we can actually head back in and try the boss. There's no reason not to. Um, it would be a good time to leave because we're not tired, so we could come back in tomorrow as well if we needed to. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Let's just try the boss once and see what, what's going on. If it is weak to um, ice, as I, in my memory, have, or in the back of my mind have, then this would be good. I don't know what I've seen these in, though, to make me think that. Here's where it's like, nah, we're, we're not weak to anything. It's just a stat, it's just the, you know, a straight stat check. A guardian. I'm afraid you'll have to defeat it to proceed. All right. Well, I mean, you don't know, but like, let's see what it's weak to. The and then Bufu. You struck the enemy's All right. Good job. Well, good luck explaining where that came from. <laughs> we missed. Already recovered. I can do yeah, it. well, that's not good. We couldn't defeat it. Yeah, okay. Sweet to ice. Uh, it has Agilal. Can you revive her? Let's go. Well, that's not good. I couldn't finish it off. We're dead. Great recovery. This isn't good. Okay. Akihiko's unconscious. Single strike? Come on, stand up! Well, we're dead. Okay. Um, I would love Mabufu. <laughs> I think that's uh, definitely what we would like to have at this point. That seems like that would be quite useful. Um, requires us getting a couple of levels above where we are currently, but that'd be good. Uh, did I create a save here? I don't think I created a quick save. No. So I'm not going to load the quick save because otherwise we uh, screw things over. So we will wait for the game to restart and load the memory card, you know, like you would on the PlayStation 2. Right. Let's go in here. The journey. And load. Okay, slot number one. There we go. Hmm. Do we want to attempt the boss again? I don't know. I kind of feel like I would like to attempt it with another party member, but like, does that even help us? I want to see how much an all-out attack does to the boss. I think I want to see how much an all-out attack does. 
And we know we can do this within base game stuff as well, so I'm just going to create a quick save and we're just going to do it till we hit an all-out attack. Because we can just reload, you know, if we're playing on the PlayStation 2, we would just reload from the memory card at this one. We actually have a save which would be possible in the uh, base game. So, let's just do it. Over and over. We'll see how many attempts it is. If they keep dodging, then I'll assume that maybe we need a higher agility uh, unit, but, you know. I think the chances of them dodging every time are gonna be slim. Uh-huh. Are, are you alright? Mm-hmm. Single strike? Come on, stand up! Well, that was good timing. Back in here again. Let's do that again. I'm hoping that RNG isn't locked to like some timing thing, so us going back in here at the same time is gonna cause them to do the exact same things. We'll know if it misses, I suppose. Nope, we hit it. All right. We seem to be hitting it at about a 50% rate of actually hitting. Okay, hit it. Nice. Let's see how much damage it does. That's not enough damage. Don't overdo it. Uh Okay, the heal's an odd move there. Well, nice that she dodged, I guess. Unconscious. Well, that's not good. Great Can we have a turn? Nope. Honestly, great. Use Poisma as much as you like. We're, we're falling over again. Okay. Um, right, so we're learning something here. We need a persona that has Bufu that is not weak to fire. Uh, you're weak to fire. Uh, you're strong against fire. Hmm. Assuming that's his only weakness, of course. You're fine, but like you're way too low level, I think. Oh no, maybe. Maybe that maybe that's the trick. We just we just go with Apsaris, but then your agility is really low and you're just gonna miss. Hmm. No, that's probably why we're missing a lot. Is they probably have high agility, so you don't just defeat it with Apsaris. Okay. Back down to floor one. Let's see if we can fuse something that has Bufu but is strong against fire. I don't know what that's going to be or how we get that to happen, but. Hello. Fuse personas. I would like to fuse. None of those. Pyrojack will not learn that, although Pyrojack is probably immune to fire. Yes. <laughs> so that might be what he expects you to do. Pyrojack and then use the Jack Brothers move, whatever that does. Um, just choose the next one and have a look along here. Any other ones? Inogami? Oh, uh, it would learn Aji. Nope. Okay, so none of them are going to do it. Right, Valkyrie, Alp, and this one. No. Nope. None of them. A Chimera? Nope. Um, and then this one. You know Bufu, and you're not weak to fire. So if we could make this thing, and it's not weak to fire, that might be our trick. We could make out of two things in normal, couldn't we? Uh, yes, we could make it out of these two. Should give it Bufu. It's got high agility. I think this is what it wants you to use. Does mean we're getting rid of Valkyrie. Let me just double check. I can't remember whether we did our registering uh, this side or the other or the other side of the death. Uh, right, we did it this side. Okay. That's fine. Fuse. Let's try fusing. 
Valkyrie and Apsaris. Which will then give us a Bufu that isn't weak to fire, which should help us uh, significantly, I would say. Yes, let's do that. I think this is what you're meant to do. I, I, I'd like to assume, by the way, that the, these developers are like, yeah, we're going to put in something that's sort of weak to these things, and then we're going to provide the ability to fuse into something that's sort of good against these things, and it's not just all kind of just accidental. I like to think it's designed in some way. So, I'm assuming that they're putting it in there because you can fuse this one about this level and it kind of works for what they're, uh, yeah, for what they've designed. Something's about to happen to Evil Touch? Sure, I don't even know what it is. Changed into Cruel Attack. Oh. Okay. I don't really know what that is either. All the stats went up. We get Auto Tarukaja, which is an attack up at the start of combat. Cool. Let's see how this goes. Uh, we're gonna exit and leave. Also, something that I have been told is apparently once you max a social link, as in you get to level 10, you no longer need to do it for any reason whatsoever. It doesn't reverse, it, it's just stuck at level 10, which is great for us because it means that if we were to say like, want, if we want to just rush down to Hermit one, we could, all we need to do is spend another seven Sundays doing it in theory and then like, that's that one locked in. So it's an interesting idea. Like, maybe don't try and collect every single social link at the start. And just, you know, work on the ones that you have and get their levels up. It's an idea. Don't know how I feel about it, but it's an idea. It, like, it, it, it could work. Right. Let's try this now. If this doesn't work, then we have to wait for the full party. But, at the very least, what we've done now is we've created something that means that we should be able to beat it with our current party, like, if uh, if our stats aren't just too low, right? Like, we could beat it if we, like, we should be able to beat it um, because we have the right elements to fight it. Let's see. So we auto Tarukaja, so our attack goes up at the start here as well. So we're now extremely strong. What's cool attack? Medium pierce damage, one foe, knockdown bone. It does more damage to a knockdown foe. Ooh, okay. Anyway, Bufu. We also have really high agility on this one, so we should hit. Okay, our stats are still a little bit low because we're still taking, you know, a ton of damage. Yeah. Can you revive her? Akihiko is unconscious. Let me double check something. Yeah, okay. The right time. Let's try doing this, but we hit the first Bufu and we don't miss. Right. In here again. Let's go for Bufu. Nice! Okay. So with less magic, we're doing roughly the same damage that we were doing with Jack Frost. Okay. That's good. Uh, and then hit this one. A better all-out attack does more if we have more people in the party, doesn't it? So yeah, going in with uh, Junpei would probably help us, because that'll probably almost kill these guys outright. And then we have another person to also attack afterwards. Yeah. She's alive, okay. It's good that she lives through that turn. Poisma is great. Don't care. It's basically a nothing turn. Sonic Punch for a kill? Kill? No, it blocks it. Ah, oh. That's fine. We're, we're okay with her being dead. Because we're going to leave immediately after this anyway. So as long as we can kill these three, we're, we're good. Okay, hit it. Nice. One more. If it hits, we win the fight. We win the fight. Cool. All our attack. Nice. You have the potential to grow even stronger. 
99 XP and 3 vibrant cloths. Okay, uh, I don't know whether we need to do this, but I'm assuming you might. So I'm just gonna like work on assumption. And I assume you have to res them if you want them to not be tired the next day. We're not going to advance the next floor, I just want the loot. <laughs> okay, B chain, cool heal. Awesome. Now we're not tired, and we have defeated the boss. I think we've achieved everything we needed to in this day. So we can now head back down, and then I think it's time for us to save and then leave Tartarus. We'll try and come back on the next day with Junpei. Okay, cool. That fight would have been a lot more difficult had I not, uh, yeah, had that knowledge of the ice weakness. Yeah. I, know, I must have seen the game being played at some point, like years ago. I have no idea where that, <laughs> that came from. Anyway, it's time to leave. Yeah, I think I'm happy with what we did today. Yeah, there's no reason to push ourselves into tiredness here. Because, um, yeah, we can come back and advance more tomorrow. Which is a Wednesday. Wednesday is student council or fashion. Uh, we should do student council. Yeah. Class has ended. Uh, student council makes a lot of sense for me here. Uh, let's try and move our condition to great and then go to student council. Which is right next. Your fashion club? Okay. Good that it doesn't make you walk all the way down to the... Um, yeah, to the whole mech room. He just, he's just there waiting for you. Okay. Uh, yes. I was going to say, oh, we know he's available on a Wednesday, but no, we know that from the sign that was outside. Your condition has become great. Wonderful. Uh, student council room. Let's go. Would you like to spend some time here? Yes, of course I would. You would say I'd spend some time after school in the student council room. Gekokan High School Student Council Room. Hidetoshi is talking to a teacher. Alright, Hidetoshi, I'm counting on you for both our sakes. Alpaksan! Hey, what did he mean by for both our sakes? What's he talking about? He just wants to create a better school environment. So he offered to help us. Just like how the president asked Alpac Scoop to join the student council. What? You can't decide something like that without the president's permission? He's staring at Hidetoshi. What happened? Someone found a cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. And that teacher wants us to look for the one who did it. Shihiro spoke in a hushed tone. Well, someone broke the rules and we should find out who. It's our responsibility, right? Look, you have two choices. Either help out and prove you're trustworthy or refuse and raise suspicion. We sure have to deal with a lot of BS around here, don't we, Alpax Kun? It seems like Hidetoshi is counting on you. Your relationship is stronger now. Literally all we did was walk in the room and go like, what's happening? <laughs> but if that's all he needs, that's all he needs. Thou art I and I am thou. Thou shall have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Emperor Arcana. The Student Council Social Link has reached level 3. Your power to create personas of the Emperor Arcana has grown. Hey, don't ignore me, teacher's pet. He chases after Hidetoshi. It's not good for student council members to be fighting like this, right? I'd better go tell the president. You decided to go home. Well, you mean because everyone else left. Walked into a room, asked what's going on, everyone left, and we went, well, I'm going home then. Sup, dude? Sup? Uh, anyway. Uh, hello. I am a little disappointed about Fuka-kun as well. It is quite difficult to find someone who has p the potential. Would you feel more assured if you had more team members? I'm okay with who we have. 
But if any of you become ill, the strength of the team will dram drastically decrease. Depending on so few members puts us in a very precarious position. Alright. What's the other one? Yes, I would. Thankfully, Akihiko-kun has rejoined the team. Oh, well, okay. Hello. I'd like to talk. When I look up at Tartarus, I'm always amazed at how many floors are in it. The tower reaches to the skies. Ah, oh, it's going to be a long and arduous journey. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Hey, everybody's here! Fantastic! That's too bad. Her name is Uka Yamagishi, right? It'd be nice if a girl who's in the same grade as me joined. Dude, my persona's getting stronger. It's really good at physical attacks. The skills don't really change that much. Is that why my grades are so low? Hey, I didn't know you had skills too. Haha, <laughs> I was just joking. Ah, uh, now I'm depressed. Hello. Other than electricity skills, it seems my persona can only learn status lowering moves. Their skills. Status lowering skills are very useful. Power isn't the only thing that wins battles. Heh, <laughs> can't believe my persona is actually teaching me something. Okay. Um. Let's see. So we're already great, so there's no reason to go to the toilet. So I think we're ready to go to Tartarus. Hello. Yes. Let's, everyone's ready to go to Tartarus, right? Yeah, no, I don't need to know everyone's status. Let's go to Tartarus. I don't see any reason not to, to be honest. It just seems like the correct decision. We then advance forward. And there we are. Right, so let's go do a save over here. Just so we have one when we're at the start of Tartarus here. And we're back to where we were at the start of the episode, and it's also at the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Now, because we have four members, my goal next time in Tartarus is to do a big kind of push through it. I want to try, if possible, to finish it, as in get to um, whatever floor we need to get to and get the next kind of final floor thing in it, because that would set us up pretty nicely going forward. Um, if we can finish Tartarus, we can then start just uh, spamming stats in the evenings and getting through some social links, but hey, it all seems to be going relatively all right. How much money do we have, by the way, just out of curiosity? 14,000 yen. It may be worth trying to get some extra money as well at some point during this trip to Tartarus, but hey, we'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.